Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on the tools that you need as a natural. Um, so basically it's your natural hair must-haves. These are things that you're going to need on a day-to-day -day basis, on the days that you wash your hair, when you're styling your hair. All right, so let's get straight into the video. The first thing we're going to start off with is brushes and combs. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this video as short as possible, but there's a lot of tools that I use. Um, and they're not expensive, and some of the things you can probably get away with not having to have. The first thing I'm starting off with is a rat tail comb. You're gonna need this for any partings that you wanna do with any hairstyles that you're gonna put into your hair. And if you're straightening your hair, you're gonna need one of these as well. Um, I do straighten my hair, so I'm times but not all the time and i do use a rat tail comb same with your afro pick you're gonna need this to you know fluff out your roots when you do your braid outs and your twist outs just like so it's the only thing i use that for a denman brush um i use this when i am doing my braid outs and my twist outs if i have freshly washed hair just to smooth all the products in I don't really use this for my wash and goes because my curls, they're all over the place. And this is, a, this is a twist out, by the way. But they're all over the place. So when I do that, sometimes they don't all clump together like you see on the videos. So <laughs> yeah, um, this is a good brush for detangling as well. It's not the best brush, I would say, but I do use it when I'm washing my hair as well. So when I have the conditioner in my hair, I like to detangle with this in the shower. So Denman brush. I have one of these blow drying brushes. If you don't have a comb piece on your hair dryer, you just, you know, chase method with the hair dryer. It's got these vented holes in it, so it's easy for the hot or cold air to pass through the brush. I guess it's vented brush, that's what it's called. You're gonna need, ugh. you're gonna need a brush, a smoothing brush, uh, this one is medium firmness, so it's not too firm because I don't want it to, you know, rip out my edges. This is for like your slick ups. Yep. Next is a wide tooth comb. So I use this in the shower as well. Um, I use this to detangle my hair first before the denim brush just because, yeah, I don't like to go straight for the denim brush because it takes a bit longer with a denim brush to detangle rather than this but i have seen i can't remember that brush what that brush is called you know with it the brush where it just comes apart when you're brushing i want to get one of those because they look really good but i use this my detangling tools are this and this okay i also got a paddle brush this is for when i wear my hair straight so when i wanted to detangle my hair when it's straight this is what i use um yeah i don't really use this often but it's a good one to have because it detangles your hair really nicely. So all the small bristles. You know? This is an edges brush. So you just swoop with the brush side and then you get that straight line. And my edges are sweated out today. It's so humid right now in London. You use this for your edges. Um, the bristle side to brush it down and then that comb side to just swoop it. Get you one of these. You can use anything you like, but I find it easier to do my edges with this. I guess this is in the, br um, the brushes and combs category. So this is one of those hair massager things they use in the shower. I'm not really a fan of this one because I feel like the bristles are a bit too short for my thick hair. Um, but yeah, these are really good. Maybe not this one, but these things are really good to get into your roots and massage your roots and to stimulate your roots basically um because we all know if you stimulate your roots that is good for hair growth okay so that's that so that's all the brushes and combs done next we're going to move on to hair styling okay so whenever i'm doing my hair whether it's styling or washing or you need clips basically get you some hair clips okay Clip the hair away out of your face if you're doing your makeup as well there you can clip your hair up out of the way um i've got these clips as well i use them for my rollers sometimes when i have my hair straight or if i can't find those i just use these 
as an option as well. What else? What else we got? <laughs> I got some of these hairpins. These are good for, you know, when you got your hair up in a bun. You can just use a hairband, like in the video that I just recorded for this cute hairstyle and others. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see that video. So you can use a hair tie to tie it around the hair bun, but I find that the bun comes out better when you use these. So you just wrap your hair around and just, you know, pin them all around the bun. So yeah, these really do come in handy for buns and other hairstyles. These hairpins. Get you a load of these hairpins because they go missing. They go missing. Like, I bought 200 like a year ago and where are they? So I got me 200 more. Get you 200 because they do just get lost everywhere. Next is Flexi Rod. <laughs> I haven't done a Flexi Rod set in ages, but I will be recording one because I just love the way the curls come out in a Flexi Rod. I got me some this size. 18 millimeter di diameter. <laughs> I can't even speak. Anyway, 18 millimeter diameter. I can see some rays on my face. There's nothing I can do about it because the sun decided to come out now and it was just quite in the storm just a minute ago. Anyway, this sun situation gets on my nerves. And then I got this size as well. I'm not too sure what size it is. It doesn't say on the packet. 1.2 centimeters it says, actually. Yeah, so I've got some of those as well. Next is perm rods. You're going to need these when you do your braid outs and your twist outs and you want to twist the ends of your hair up. The sun is really getting my nerves. Should I do something about it? <sighs> right. How annoying is that? Anyway, perm rods. Yeah, so you're going to need these for when you're doing your braid outs and your twist outs and you want to curl up your hair. I use them all the time in my braid outs. I don't know if I can get a curl that's not frizzed up already because it just got all messy when I was doing the hairstyles. Anyway, it just rounds off your curls a bit. Instead of having like scraggy ends, you know, it just rounds off the hair. So get you some pair of mods. I have that kind and I have this kind as well. Um, these ones are just a, bit, just a bit slimmer. I do prefer to use these ones actually. Right, so if you're gonna be cutting your own hair, you need to get yourself a good pair of hair scissors. You are looking for proper shears, sharp, you know. If you're trying to get rid of your split ends, but you're gonna give yourself split ends if you cut your hair with blunt scissors. Or if you don't trust yourself, just go to the hairdresser for now, but I'm telling you, they will cut your hair off, okay? They will cut your hair off. They did it to me many times. So, I don't go hairdressers no more. Not since I was pregnant with my first son. They cut my hair. You know your hair grows long when you're pregnant, right? Well, sometimes. And she literally chopped it, like, up here. And it was quite down there. I was like, never again. Mm -mm. You won't get my time, my money, or my energy. What's next? A water bottle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're gonna need a water bottle. You're gonna need a good one as well. We don't necessarily need a good one. Just just something that's gonna make, wet your hair. And um, this one's got a long shot on it, so when you hold it, it will spray for long, okay? It's a misty spray as well, so get it away. So it won't, it won't saturate your hair straight away. But if you want saturation, then you're gonna have to get a water bottle that saturates your hair. Okay, what's next? Some hair bands. I prefer this, this kind of hair band. The one that has no ends on it. They last a long time without the stretch coming out of them. And there's no snags with these ones at all. The only thing is that you have to be careful with how tight you put on it on your hair because, because it is so stretchy, you're gonna stretch it around your hair and then it's gonna feel tight to come off your hair. So just be careful with that. Um, I do also have some small, <laughs> I don't actually have any more cause I just broke the last two in the last video. There's two in my head and I just broke two in the last video. So 
Yeah, so it's, this, it's the thinner ones, but the ends are melted so they don't have the silver bit in it. So those hairbands as well are good for when you don't want to have a big hairband in the hair. So get you some of those as well. Oh yes, most important hairband is your scrunchies. Get yourself some satin scrunchies, okay? You don't want the cotton kind. It's just gonna get rub on your hair. You want the satin kind, okay? When I have my wash and goes, or my twist outs, or my braid outs, I use these satin scrunchies to put my hair up in a pineapple, okay? So, since we're talking about satin, I do have one of these hair scarves. This one is for your edges specifically. So you tie it around your edges, you know, and you gel it up and blah, blah, blah. So you just tie it around your edges like that. And just set your edges. Make sure it's satin as well because satin is the only way when you're a natural. It's the only way, okay? You're gonna think I'm crazy, but whatever I bought, I bought it in black. So next is the headscarf, satin headscarf, okay? The satin headscarf will reduce friction on your hair when you're sleeping at night um, because the cotton pillow will just, you know, rub up on your curls and just create all this friction and snag and break off your hair. So get you, a satin head scarf and since we're talking about bedtime get yourself some satin pillowcases yes i have black satin pillowcases because i don't really want to be seeing any grease on my satin pillowcases so i just got it in black because sometimes in the summer i don't like to wear my head scarf because it gets so hot in london because obviously well in my house anyway i don't have ac so <laughs> I'm just sitting here even now it's humid it's mad humid so i don't like to wear my headscarf because i get too hot and i don't recommend doing that because obviously wear your headscarf at night honestly as a natural wear your headscarf at night because that's gonna make your hair thrive but yeah satin pillowcases is a good one just a few more things so i have a shower cap i use this when i deep condition my hair some people use a thermal cap so they can lock the heat in but sometimes I just use cling film instead and that just locks all the heat in, all the moisture and it works just as good and next is a microfiber towel I don't really use microfiber towels all the time because I only have one you can use an old t-shirt or you can just use a regular some regular towel but it can tend to cause some frizz and I guess it's something that I should do because I do have a lot of frizz, so I'm trying to reduce as much frizz as possible. So I just might start following that goal. And lastly, and this one is optional as well, and this is more for the winter months if you're going to be doing your wash and goals or any wet hairstyle. It's a diffuser. I haven't used this one yet because obviously it's summer and I just air dry, but it's optional. You don't really have to. You can use a hair dryer if you want to. You can just air dry if you want. But um, in the winter, it's better if you don't go outside of your hair wet because you know you can get ill, whatever. I think that's it. I think we've covered everything. Um, I haven't gone into any products you might need for, as a natural. If you want a video on that, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all your natural must-haves that you should have as a natural if you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other natural products that you must have um but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye